I'm Roger's base, and you're watching Craig's. Uh, hold on, wait, 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 do it again. Wait, wait. No, no. Craig's I'm Roger's base, and you're watching Craig's Corner Studios. <laughs> Thank you. Cute. You got. Whenever spring comes around, it's SakuraCon time. And when autumn comes around, PAX West is around the corner. And also as of time recording my note entry, the day after PAX West, I caught a fever which later turned out to be COVID and has been latching on to me for the entire week last week. I'm feeling better now, but dang, the virus got hands. Similar to SakuraCon, I always go in before the big day to see if anything big arrives and always plan ahead on certain occasions. Ooh. Oh. I am five. Five feet inside your mom. Lamau. Got him. Got you good. <laughs> five feet in your mom. Wow, what a view. Hey everyone, it's me, Craig. Welcome to PAX 2023. Well, it's day zero. Right now it's Thursday, August 31st as of this recording. And uh, yeah, people right now are starting to get set up for the big day tomorrow. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm only here because I just got to answer a couple questions from the info booth over there. But I assure you there's going to be some really fun things tomorrow. I just hope nothing goes wrong when I get over there. <laughs> well, see you later. It's day one at PAX. There is a lot of people. That's the bus I just left. All right, let's go in. Today is the big day. Because today is Friday, this day doesn't have much rush, so it was a day to take one's time to unwind and enjoy the bountiful booths. Well, it's day one at... <laughs> I almost said soccer con, I'm in packs. Ugh, I feel like it's almost been a year already. Technically, it has been a year already. So right here, it's uh, there's not a lot of people coming. It's a Friday, so there's not a lot of people that's going to be coming here. So I guess that's good. And as you can see here, Nintendo Live. Like I said, I'm going to be there on Sunday. So probably once this is uploaded and get everything done, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get like a Sunday timestamp. So you can just skip on over there in case if you don't want to see these two. Then again, I think it's best that you see it. So apparently the majority of the arch is going to be taking place around up there. So if anyone wants to see remaining games and other booths and whatnot, we have to go up here. We're gonna have to do the other part of the arch. Dang. Everyone looks like ants. Hmm. So here's a quick little update. So it turns out that because Nintendo Live is taking a giant part, if anyone wants to go and see anything in the arch, you're gonna have to go up these uh, escalators right there. Well, I guess until the time being, I guess I'm just gonna be checking out what we have along with the summit. Well, here we are, arch. Yeah, I think I recorded a little bit too far. Okay, now we're a little bit close. Behold! Oh, 
Uh, guy. Is that Freddy Fazbear? Hope I don't get bitten. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> That's a long line for the merch line. Okay, so there's the Pokemon followed by Square Enix. What else is it? ESL? Hmm. Never heard of that AAA company. Let's see. Hmm. I'm, being, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed after all this. And I don't think it's even been 11 o'clock. It is currently past 11. It's already been an hour since I got here, and it's pretty hot in here. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I think when I get outside, I'll cool down a little bit. What was that? What was that? Okay, it turns out it was just the escalator. I'm kind of a little bored, but uh, I mean, I just got here. Just taking a little break. I guess I can still stroll up. Really? Escalator's busted. What are the odds of that? Alright, round two. Let's go. Showtime. After taking my break, I decided to go out and meet some boobs. After playing at some boobs, I'm going to get lunch. Oh, I'm gonna play that. Guys, I don't want to alarm you, but Sonic the Hedgehog is alive. He's right here. I'm gonna get a photo of him. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm so happy. I cannot believe it. I'm gonna be so close. Oh yeah, it was so worth it. There is a lot of people outside today, mostly in the summit. That is so big. I decided to go down to the summit underground to see if anything interesting popped up. Some did got my interest. There were some more gaming booths, but the one I was interested in was mostly the demo at Tekken 8. Oh, I won by the way. In case anybody wants to know. Hey, check this out. Tekken 8. Okay, you can't see it, but uh, come on. Yeah. And Dynamco, Tekken 8. Let's see if we can play it. Oh, there it is. There it is again. Right now it's 2.05 p.m. I'm currently right in the summit. I just got out of the lower grounds. I'm going to see this Nintendo Power Museum. It's going to be pretty awesome. I don't know where, but uh, it's going to be here somewhere.
we're here. Let's go. I really hope it's not what I think it is. After looking through several booths to find stuff to get into my hands. Okay, first of all, quick off these notes. It's better to get the merch you want on day one. First comes first come, first serve after all. I'm not a panel person, but I needed to sit down and relax often. I decided to go settle with Jackbox TV. Oh, there's a new game called Texting Me. Here's how it looks. Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this text has metastasized. It is expanding at a dangerous rate. Whoa. This is like... This is... <laughs> so, so Jasmine is going hog wild. <laughs> This is, what I, this is what I've identified. I think Jason's out of characters already. That's what I think. I think you ran out of character limits before oh, the time. The the that was so fast. So here's how the game goes. You're given a prompt and you must edit it. But the catch is that you can't delete or undo your mistake. Here's how it went. What was the problem now, Jim? What? It's, it's still, I, I think it's Chris, grabbing Travis, from, and our, Jerry. from what we said. You're responding to, where is the salmon? And here we go, select your more place, fan in there. there. Go. Oh, that did remind me, they were going to make this rhythm game that they had, but it's a bit chaotic. So, apparently in this game, and to my recollection of memories, everyone has to make like this music, and all of this comes later as a giant plant is going to eat you. The music that you made must fill up the like meter five times with the music that you made. If you nailed it perfectly, you'll escape. Or you'll end on a sour note. It's been like six hours and I totally forgot Nintendo Live was there. I was in other places. Oh dear god. Good evening, Expo Hall! We are almost done with day one of Max West. In the Expo Hall, there is still plenty more packs to attend throughout the rest of the day and certainly the rest of the weekend. We are closing in 15 minutes in the Expo Hall. The rest of the packs may open. Well, it's past six and my day has come to an end for the first day. My result? Mm, great boobs, fun games, free photo ops. It's just like the older kinds of attacks before the virus changed everything. Well, it's currently 6 p.m. Everything here is going to be shut down until tomorrow. Well, at least I had fun. I got to see some places. Yeah, I did get to see some pretty awesome places. So, uh, I mean, it was a good start. I'm just going to have to wait until Sunday because that's where the real main, uh, main attraction for me is. 
So until then, I guess uh, later until then. Good thing that's not real. Well, I'm gonna have to get a good look of everything. The end of day one for now. All in all, it wasn't a really bad day. I mean, it was just more of like, hmm, I wonder what the place is like. But because of Nintendo Live and I can't be there until Sunday, I'm going to be very limited with most of my activities. Luckily, there's a map so I can see what are the things I should and should do tomorrow. So I'm going to be really hopeful and excited for that. So until then, see ya. It's the second day of PAX, and since it's the weekend, the number of attendees from yesterday nearly doubled, I think. It wasn't five minutes after 10 struck, and the lines were already capped. Even writing this script, and, you know, recording all my lines for this later onwards, big stages like Square Enix, Atlas, and even Pokemon Labs was capped. But at least I got to do some networking with some indie studios. Nintendo also, if line. you were watching this, hey, but I, can't go I met some of you at uh, your booth. So it was really nice to meet you all. Stuck. Hey everyone, this is day two at PAX West, and right now it's not even 10 o'clock, so there's a lot of people lining over here. You can see that there's a lot of lines, a lot of people. So, uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait until 10. Good thing I have a lot of music on my phone, so I can listen to that while it's going up on 10. See you later! During that day, it was mostly just lurking around more booths that I never really got to see and interact. Well, both want to play more. Sure, no, okay, really you like, got it. But actually playing them? Well, there were a constant number of games I did enjoy the little heck out of. One of them I really enjoyed is Smack Studio. It really stood out. Similar to Rivals of Ether, you're allowed to create your own character to fight as. I just chose to play as Moist Critical that was on the roster. I just happened to won seven matches in a row. Someone made him a little bit too powerful, I guess. After taking a break, I decided to go to the Pokemon Lab. The line was long, but everyone was there to play with cards. I only wanted a pin. But unfortunately, I had to play it. Regardless of just wanting the pin or not, was it really worth waiting in line over an hour to play a card game I have no interest in? No. Was getting the pin at least worth it? No! Was it better than last year where I went on a scavenger hunt all over Seattle for stamps and failed raffle tickets? Nah, I should be privileged to say yes from experience. Well, looks like it's the end of day two at PAX. And well, because it's Saturday, you know what that means. Ugh. Oh yeah, Sunday is gonna be so fun. I'll probably make up for everything that I kind of slacked off for today. Today was pretty fun though. Got to play a lot of games. I got to be the last at certain places. Hey, in the end, it was all fun. Is it on? I think it's on. Uh, hey everyone, this is day three at PAX, and because today is Sunday, you know what that means. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. 
Right now, I'm on the fifth floor, so I'm gonna get everything registered and yeah, I, yeah, I think I pretty much got everything I need to do. So, without further ado, let's come on over. Come on, follow me. What, I have to bring the tripod with me? Today is the big day, but what was coming to me was a long waiting line. So I guess this is the line, we're just gonna have to go all the way over there and over there. I can see that there's a lot of people over there and I cannot. I hope this line is uh, not too long. Then again, it's not even 9.30, so... Yeah, we're gonna be here for a long time. No, really, the top six floor was a long waiting line. But everyone got a cool bag with pins and little booklets. Alright, so it's past 10. I finally got out of the giant line. Vibes a little dancing though. But, uh, I guess all this uh, waiting, I, have to ho I really hope it's totally worth it today. Kinda tiring outside. A little bit hot inside as well. Alright, are you ready? Bam! Look at this! Oh, this is really cool. I know what I must do first. As a big Nintendo enjoyer, the place was, well, the best thing I saw all day. And wasn't the summit all day to be exact. The statues, the game booths, the photos you can take with many characters. I honestly don't know where to place in my top 10 happiest days in my life, which I still need at least 10 to fill. Maybe between first time drinking alcohol or graduating high school and never looking back along with the horrible atrocities I committed. But that's a different story. Thank you. Quick question to my viewers watching. When's the best time to get merch? The answer? Early in the morning. The wait line at the Nintendo pop-up store was so long around 11. It went outside of the convention. Outside. I kid you not. Decisions, decisions. Like what to get, what to get. Oh, that's where I already got the ones I wanted to get. <laughs> so this here is called the Hall of Smash. So basically what we're seeing behind us is going to be a whole bunch of Smash artifacts. Right now behind me is the Monado. The Monado is pretty cool. I don't know why, it, why it's here. Someone must be the pretty chosen one, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. Funny story at the Hall of Smash here. I played against several people and I didn't lost a single game. Pretty cool, right? So later on, two dads saw a couple of their kids play on the giant jumbo screen for everyone to see. And it was me against two of their dads. Well, yeah, I think it was like 
two dads, and then followed by one guy who hasn't even played Smash at all. All the kids was on the ground just cheering for their dads. Like, go daddy, go! Win it, dad! You can't lose! Three minutes later, I slaughtered them mercilessly. The kid's face of confidence was slowly melting away into shock and denial. I felt so sad for them. Hey, Cuz is just fun to play at. This would make a so awesome cosplay. So today, today was a pretty happy day for me. I don't usually feel pretty happy every so often, but this is the first time I actually felt really great. Um, I currently have like a giant smile on my face right now, and unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. It's almost six, and I managed to play every booth. Got a photo of a lot of mascots. Even got to do a fun little interview, but unfortunately, you can't see my face because I'm leaving stuff. So yeah, Sunday was pretty much the best PAX day I've ever had. Like if I were to combine all of the days I've been in PAX, I think today is pretty much by far the best one. And I honestly don't know if I can find anything that could match this or surpass this thing. It was truly awesome and the only regret I have is that I did not bring any friends. It would have been so nice to have friends but I did not. Maybe someday, but not today. Man, I wish this was my room. It looks so awesome. Well. I guess that's pretty- that's alright! Well, I guess that's pretty much it for today. So, see you next time! Well, I think, as Cuthbert Bucket, studio maker in the Summit Sphere, you should wish this Anton Blast on Steam right now. It's true. Hey everyone, this is the final day of PAX, day 4. I decided to uh, go down to the summit one more time and see if there's any goods to get. I also got the news that Steve Hardwell, the guy who sang All Star and a whole bunch of other songs for Smash Mouth passed away. Look, I know the last day of PAX is really sad, but I really didn't want it to be even worse than it had to be. Oh well. Uh, I guess I'll just have some fun for now. Hey everyone, I'm at the Penny Arcade and I managed to snag myself a really good golden pin. It's pretty rare. I'm trying not to let it get off of my head. Just trying to do really good balance. Uh, yeah. I happen to be the second out of the four people who got it. Crazy luck. <laughs> so yeah, there was a story to that one. One person ahead of me got a chance to spin for the rare gold VHS pin and got it. I forced all of my luck that day and I managed to get it as well. I told two other people behind me good luck and those two also won their gold pins. It's lucky to get something rare, but what's even rare is when it happens four in 
one row in a go. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. Take a good look at this. I'm gonna miss this place. Well, I mean, I could always come back next year, or when Sakura Kong comes around next year, I could just, uh, wait until a couple of months. I guess I'll see everyone around March, around here. I'm telling you, it's just luck. So later in the day, around noon, I went around and played in the free console room, and I decided to play King of Fighters 15 and Tekken 7. Dang. The staff faculty got hands. It's currently 3 p.m. here. I have no idea what's going on here, and I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm just gonna do one last check-in with some of the booths here, play some games, and uh, I guess that's it for the next three hours. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep everyone on check on what time it is. Cheese it. Might as well get some. I got it. I got the cheese it. Hey again, so right now it's 6 o'clock. I decided to spend the next 15 minutes playing Rival Gator 2. And uh, yeah, I got my butt kicked by Dan Farnese himself, but that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm now officially an unofficial official ambassador for Rivals of Ether. So I guess that technically makes me official, but unofficial, but he did say that I am an ambassador, but just not official. He's really confusing sometimes, but I guess that's just the way people works, you know? Yeah. Pax. 2023 finally coming to an end. Nintendo Live was fun. I got to see so many boobs. I got to see so many people. Yeah, it was totally worth it this year. I actually really like it. I don't know what it's gonna be like next year, but I really hope that I will never forget this year. It was truly a magnificent moment, and I really liked it. Well, despite not getting much footage this year, well, for today, yeah. I am gonna mix packs this year. So many wonderful things happen. Well, my friends, looks like this is the end of the rope for me. Well, what am I gonna do next? Uh, ideally, go back home, take a shower, get some dinner, and then have to get back to work. And maybe make the video as well. I have to get back to my own time. 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 Why does that sound familiar? But anyways, uh, I hope you do enjoy my vlog, and uh, make sure to hit like and the subscribe button if you want to, that is. I mean, it's optional, but if you want to feel like it's mandatory, then uh, go ahead. Uh, later. Uh, it's not what it looks like. It is what it looks like. Long boy, no! What? Oh, I see you have met each other. Have you? Claren, I have came to this timeline not to kill you. I came here because, well, it's about my people. And just to save you time, Long boy decided to go back in time because his species, the Furret, is kind of obsolete and people don't really care about it. So he decided to go back in time and make sure that there's some sort of relevancy that he can do. Which I succeeded. Wait, you did? So, remember when I said that, like, whenever you go away, I usually go somewhere else? Well, whenever you go away, I actually know a couple of people who can get me to certain places very quickly, so I can do some a little bit of negotiation. And that is... I'm finally in a game. Wait, you're in the new Pokemon Legends Arceus game? Uh, no, the next mainline one. Gen 9? Yep. 
Unfortunately, I was unable to make it to the base roster. But with the power of negotiations, I'll be appearing in the next DLC. You know, the Isle of Armor, Crown Tundra, something like that. But it's gonna be a little bit better. Tell me, what does Generation 9 look like? <sighs> I ain't telling you that. What? Aww. Wait, where are you going? Craig, I don't belong in this timeline anymore. I need to go back into the future to prevent other things from happening. I've already done my job anyways. So, this is how it's going to end, huh? You came all the way from the future to here, just so that you can get your presence in the mainline Pokemon games. Yep, that's my only purpose here. It's gonna feel weird without you. Wait a minute, how much of the future have you changed here? The Furret Nation is pretty small. We never really did much. I mean, I did make some pretty good memes and a couple of awarenesses here and there. I don't think I altered anything big whatsoever. Well, if that's not a problem, you can still stay here. Wait, what? Wait, does that mean Longboy can stay? Despite he's from the future? As long as he doesn't do anything stupid, I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. I just hope he's not really truly evil in the future. Did you hear that, long boy? You can stay! Wait. If you're from a future where long boys are, like, not relevant, but then you came here, then... Wait, hold on. I feel like that there's some sort of... No. Oh man, I knew this was coming. Well, well. At least I managed to find an understudy, you know, in case if something like this does happen. <laughs> in the present day, Furrets are not really well known. But because you've made them well known, it seems that the future is being altered a little bit. No, 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 no. Long boy, please! You can't go! I'm sorry, but I knew this was gonna happen. But like I said, you have another long boy coming. Take great care of him. None of this would have ever happened. You could have just kept this all a secret from me. This isn't right at all. This is just so not right at all. Craig, we make a lot of mistakes. And, uh, yeah. I guess this really is goodbye, my friend. Oh, and one more thing. Everyone, it was wonderful being your co-host. I'm going to miss you all. Goodbye. Long boy. I'm so sorry for your loss. No. He came here for his mission, and he succeeded. What are you gonna do now? I am going to go back on my adventure. Back to find Emperor Loxodont. And beat him. Everyone has their own missions, I guess. And if that's the case, you might want to take your sword with you. My sword? Thank you. I shall be going on my way then. Godspeed. <sighs> I honestly don't know what to do now. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait for the next long boy to come in. But he never really told me when he's gonna come. Hmm. Hey, so, uh, some guy told me that you're supposed to be here? Uh, are you Craig? Okay, first of all, I'm called Chunky. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs>